In this video, we tell you the truth about what it's like to refit an ex-race boat like ours in Fiji. Now, let me explain something. Many people, they pose the question, why? Oh, too much job. Why you don't uh, do? Why you don't buy another one uh, ready? Spend all life to fix it. Three things. One, we like this boat. One boat like this, we never can have the money for buy. And, uh, but we can pay with our uh, sweating, with our uh, work, uh, with our, uh, yeah, with our work. We know how can do it. And uh, not many people uh, probably they are enjoy, they are able to do it. That is true. Yeah. And quindi, now I go to clean our tank. <laughs> 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 Hi, we're Timo and Joe, and this is our Sailing Your Envy. We're currently in Fiji, transforming Envy from an ex race boat to a performance family cruiser. Yeah! We reached 1,000 subscribers! Thank you so much to you! Yeah, thank you. This, uh, this job uh, to making video on YouTube coming in reality. And uh, we are very happy and we want to say thank you to everybody. Yes, thanks for watching, commenting, liking, sharing. We really appreciate it. Having reached this milestone, we decided for this video we'd try to give you an insight into what it's really like for us having this big boat project. Yes, to the man's last we arrived in Fiji in late 2020, having bought the boat a few months before that in New Zealand. We came to Fiji because Timo was managing the yard here at Vonda Marina. The first challenge was even getting out of the water and into the marina. Our 4.2 metre draft means it won't always be easy to find marinas and yards able to accommodate us. So the first few weeks we actually spent anchored outside of the marina, waiting for spring high tide. And even then we had to tie big inflatable tubes underneath one side of our hull to heal us over in order to reduce our draft enough to get in. What next? Then we took the mast down, ready for cyclone season. That year we had the possibility of using the travel lift to put it on top of us every time a cyclone came. As, um, as security, which was great. Unfortunately, this year another boat needs it, so that's why we um, built the elaborate structure we have with the container and the boat sitting on and the two cradles and all the concrete blocks buried under the ground that everything's strapped to. With a big project like this, there's a lot of things on the go at the same time. So we're thinking about the interior, the exterior, the electrics, the systems, the sails, the mast. For example, this week we ended up going in and out of town a lot to get welding done for our new bowsprit. Plus an additional welding job. <laughs> Waiting for Daddy to finish the welding. Sorting out the bow spread. And we are trying to break into the office. Don't make me crazy. We've also started working together with an electrician to help us organize our electrics. Okay, we started to disconnect and mark all cable for move electric line from the original position and some position more properly and clean. So this is the bamboo we want to use to like cover our electrical yeah. cables that run through the boat. Yeah, it's economic, free, and uh, it's also eco-friendly, and maybe with one uh, coat of uh, transparent painting for uh, UV protection, it can be really very nice. Okay, this is the half pipe I prepared for the 
pass the cable from the control panel is below the kitchen. It's only half because it's nice to have the opportunity to <coughs> to check the cable. Okay. Set. We're also thinking about all the other systems we want to install on board, like Timo's old water maker. Pump is running. Yes. Which we're refitting thanks to Oceania Water Group. Piston is oscillating, but we've got leaks at the back we can fix with seals. Both, both your pumps here, motor-wise, are working, but heads are not so good, and the switching on the head. We often have to go into town to look for material and parts. Shopping for stuff in Fiji isn't as straightforward as it might be in other countries. Can you open the door? So we can go out. Can you open it? Thank you. Open the door. Open it. Off we go. It can be hard to find the stuff we need as it's not always available. High on our list at the moment is food grade paint for the water ballast tanks we want to reinstall with drinking water, as well as valves and tubing. This valve has to be quickly open and closed because we have to control it with one system of string and rope pass inside the, to the boat by blocks. And it has to be easy to maneuver for everybody, for me or for Joanna Keeper. Let me try. So this is the valve. Like this, eh? like this, like this, like this. Hang on, let me try like again. This, let me try like again. This, let me try again. Like this. Bye, Joe. Joe. No, where do you go? Yes. Ah, you manage. Ole, you manage. Okay. We're worrying about the replacement seal we need for our rudder. Not sure. It should be up there. It looks like the Australian company that built it aren't able to send us replacement parts without first inspecting the bearing itself. So it looks like somehow we're going to have to make the parts ourselves here locally. We're still trying to decide whether to install the original coffee grinders. It would mean an extra 100 kilograms worth of stuff in total and one more big job to add to our list. Then there's all the time spent trying to source stuff from abroad. Especially as we're on a very tight budget, we have to hunt around to find the best solution. Whether it's carbon fiber, butyl tape, or replacement parts for the engine. It's come from China and it was really cheap. Yeah, okay. it come from China, it's very cheap. I always saw order from internet because in Fiji, Guarantee you don't find this kind of professional material. Wait, it's very dangerous. He wants that one. No. This is a valve. Uh, nice. The valve, uh, watch. Uh, the new valve. We have to be a bit organized and get the stuff in advance sometimes to make sure that when we come to do a job that we have the material that we need. We finished filling and primering the underwater part of the hull. New water line. Yes, Demo, watch me. What's daddy? You can see how many makes it uh, the anti pooling uh, ultra too. But we've still got all the anti foul to do. We're also trying to come up with a design for the deck and the hull above the water line. If you've got any ideas, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. Our friend Took has just finished making us a nice wood carving for the saloon. He's an artist, Mr. Took. We've got some jobs we want to do on the mast while it's down, like adding an attachment for a third stay. On top of this, we've got a very active six month year old who needs a lot of attention. You're going to see Daddy. Wow, look at that. Standing. And he's still not letting me sleep for more than two hours at a time. I think we had this conversation at five o'clock in the morning, didn't we, Names? Oh, so tired. 
Plus, we've got a totally hyper puppy who has to be kept on a lead for six months after he broke his front leg a few months ago. Oh, so long. That's why it's swollen. Wait. <laughs> Throw a healthy dose of COVID in the mix. Pain in such a sad to see. Watch the city wash over me. Oh no. So it's a big challenge for us refitting this boat. Timo's basically doing all the work on his own. Oh, I come with nothing a fringe. I'm solo here. Take the 19. Uh, okay, we have to go out. Okay. Um, uh. I've not really been able to join in in the same way. Also, with <laughs> with Nemo, it's not a good environment being down in the in the yard. Unfortunately, not for us or not for him anyway. It's not always easy after a hard week of work for Timo to motivate himself to go back down to the yard. A lot of you, they start to trust in us, uh, they start to, to comment and uh, give to us uh, power for continuing. This uh, year we redetected the season to quit the fixed uh, job in Well, Fiji. your contract is coming to an end and we've decided not to renew it because it's, it, it's a risk every cyclone season that we stay here and uh, as it's not the most natural thing for a boat to be sat out of the water. So it's time that we... <laughs> and we go back to our uh, previous job. Our previous job is to uh, condivide our professionality, uh, our navigation with you. And uh, we chose this boat because this boat, we believe, can be very attractive and interesting for uh, many of you who you want to come to do some uh, offshore crossing, some offshore navigation. and. Uh, and play with us with the sail with our magic toy. We are very happy to see so interest in uh, the job we do it. We put a lot of energy and the most of the time to every week of Joanna pass to build the video, watch the, the material I make when I uh, go on with the work in progress and uh, he makes a lot of material. Yeah. He likes to talk. And I've actually really enjoyed making the videos. Um, it's quite a big job. Yeah, it's been a real, it's a fun kind of creative out outlet, but it is definitely time consuming. It's one a uh, one real uh, job for us. Every week we have to prepare uh, one video for uh, for try to give to you one new uh, part of the story, one new emotion is the the true of our life. If you really appreciate the job we do it uh, to produce video and share with you and uh, you wanna continue to see us to do this job. Some of you have very kindly suggested that we could mention we have set up a Patreon site or if you don't like Patreon I also set up a buy me a coffee site um, and if anyone would like to we'd of course appreciate any support. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in the link is here and in the description. I need a coffee. Yes. I need a coffee. Yes. More importantly, it's just really great if you enjoy our videos, if you can like, comment, subscribe, and if you if it's if you're able to share them with anyone else you think might like them, that would be really helpful. Thanks. In the uh, Patreon website, we wanna share with you some uh, additional uh, 
video yeah some additional material you can talk with us you can contact us if you really are a part of this uh, big challenger we can invite you on board and um help you with any sailing project you have we're also willing to make a video um of your choice yes we have more attention about your comment because you really are a partner of us and uh, Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's exciting to think that we'll get back to living on the water again. But also stressful and scary because of all the jobs that we've still got to do and the idea of leaving the security that being employed by someone else provides. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Solo. It's left the boat kind of green. I know, it's uh, the old tape. Oh. That's the move. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> solo, solo. No. Hang on. My eyes are half closed.